into the secondary and evaded the free safety. 0 oh, 2 coming. Swing and a fly ball toward right center into the alley. Bradley on a run. Jackie dives. Oh, he caught it. He laid out and made a sensational play. The runner tags. He'll advance into third. Jackie Bradley, Superman in the alley. And how about the appreciation from these fans? A spectacular catch. Big lead again for Peralta. Holiday a safe lead at second. Adam swings and hits a drive. Deep right field. Back to the wall. And it's a goner. A goner. A three-run homer for Matt Adams. 3-2 Cardinals in a magical seventh inning. With everyone standing at Dodger Stadium, Kershaw pitches. Carpenter swings and hits a drive. Right center field. It's in the gap. And it's down off the wall. Molina scores. Adam scores. Jay scores. And we're back. More LB15 to show here in the channel. So we climb closer to the to Halloween of Fun that starts on Thursday. Trying to kill some time. That's why we were just playing this. Um, it's just easier <laughs> to do this now and then next two days and try to brush two games or game in in between. Playing something like this is easy. It's easier than the. Uh, Trying to find something we could just do in one day. And it was, I mean, it could have been other things we could have played. Um, I'm sure. It's been one day, but I didn't know what to do. It's just, it's a, it's an easy fallback. Where you don't know what else to play. And... Friday Night Baseball from the Twin Cities. Target Field in downtown Minneapolis. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Eastern Division leading New York Yankees and the Minnesota Twins. Let's say we got um, number 763 breaking the all-time home run record. He's coming off that two-home run contest just 24 hours ago. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. He waits, now the pitch. And boy, this oh, you fucker! <sighs> when you're in a key spot like this, you can't allow yourself to get tied up that badly. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw back this bullshit, 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 bullshit. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. Again, breaking all the rules again, game. His dudeness will get a shot now with two on and two out here in inning number two. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Hard hit towards center. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. And it's in. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, that was a bad running mistake. You never go in that play. You always stay. You never make the third out of the home. Never, and that was a huge mistake. Now here's the first pitch. And a drive out to deep right center field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And the runner will score from second. And a relay to the plate. And he will score as well as they've broken this one wide open now as the lead swells to six. Yeah, that guy went right through the other guy. <laughs> Homer potential written on it right off the bat. And he didn't miss it by much as it winds up banging off and the wall out there. And it's just because of the large wall out there, that's what it is. Oh, sure, that was when I'm running. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, will stand in in another RBI spot. He's already got three in this one. First pitch coming. Swing and a shot toward right center. And this is into the gap for his third hit of the night, and it'll be good for extra bases. And this will open it up a bit more as the lead moves to 7-2. to two. Everybody Yeah. Now. Right on the heels of the triple, he comes through with a double of his own, and that's going to extend that lead out even further. Michael Tonkin is on, and he'll take over on the mound. 
Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will stand in, and as you see, needs only a big fly to complete this cycle. Foul tip into the catcher's glove. It's strike. Yeah, okay. And this is a guy who will not get cheated up there, and he almost came out of his shoes on that one. And a bouncing ball, foul. Come on. Seven runs, eight hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. He's ready now. The pitch, swinging a ball, hit on the ground. Well, it's a foul. That. Here's another 0-2. And looked like he jammed him that time. Come on. Lassiter Damn it. Under it. And he makes the catch for out number three. And quite a lot of offense in this one, but if we had to highlight one guy that made the difference, there he is. He's our tops player of the game. I just Jeff, he winds up driving away from our runs. I think get on once. Is there any way you get the force? Force is you're still getting on because you're still being the guy. Still getting on. <laughs> the count of the hit it does count as getting on. On uh, base, you know what? Yeah, there I mean. Seven sixty three, we're the old time kill ranking. Now on Here's a pitch from Beckett. Both teams getting their final warm ups in as we welcome you back to the MLB pregame show. First pitch of game two in our series is right around the corner, but before we turn that corner, here is our top player spotlight. Batting third. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will get his first opportunity now. And as you can see, he begins play with 35 home runs for the season. As a look, now the pitch. And it's grounded foul. Come on. He's ready. Now the pitch. On the ground to second base, this could be two. The second for one. Let me get one. Bushy, 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 bushy. He reached on a fielder's choice his first time. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will dig in. He singled his last time around. Now here's the first pitch. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. And that's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And they'll tie the ball game. Yeah. Scores from second to make it a 2-2 ball game now. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness. We'll get a shot here with two away and a runner at first now following the base hit. That two out single seemed harmless enough, but anytime you extend the inning to allow this guy to get a shot with a runner on, you better be careful. Hey, here we go. All right, here we go, guys. He waits, now the pitch. Pitch inside the throw, and it's far too late as he Oh, that is just bull crap. Are you with that? I knew that exactly what was gonna happen because the, the AI has become too much of a pussy the fucking pitch to me. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will step in and we'll see if they decide to pitch to him this time around. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw on to first, two gone. And as we wrap things up here, what do you say we name this guy right here as the recipient of our top? One and right at the first baseman, and that's an easy play. Oh, he missed him! How in the world did that happen? 
That is extreme agility by a former football player. That looked like he was heading into the secondary and evaded the free safety. So annoying. Just so annoying. The AI stole the base just to take the the bat out of my hands. I did that fucking purpose. I couldn't swing as a fucking... Where it was? I would have fucking at least tried to foul it off. Because I knew exactly what they were trying to do there. I knew exactly what the area was looking to do there. That's how much bullshit that was. The eye was taking the bat out of my hands. Pretty simple. It was gonna have my guy run, so it can walk me. That was no accident. That was the eye doing his taking the bat right out of my hands. He set now the pitch, swinging a liner back through the box. That's the bottom line. The relay throw, and they won't come close to getting him. He's in there at third. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, ready to go here as we begin the third. Now here's the first pitch. Just does manage to get a piece. You can see exactly what they were looking to do. Just. I was looking to run, and then have, have my guy run, steal second, so it can make sure I can't even have an up-bat there. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, will get a shot here in a bases-loaded situation, and you'd have to say they've got the right man for the job up here. Yeah, team leader in RBIs. He's got a shot to push that lead out even further if he could come through here. Cut fastball inside, ball one. The next pitch. Oh, pretty healthy hack. Ugh. <laughs> I think he saw stars in his eyes there. He was thinking grand slam on that one. Ready now on one and one. Now this is on the ground a second. That was not grabbed. Unless he's got a fucking glove that can go backwards. Damn, that ball should be past them. That's so much bullshit. The Yankees lead it three to two. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Sir Dudenstein. The first offering is lined into right field, and they have the leadoff man aboard to start the inning. Michael Tonkin is on out of the bullpen now as he gets to work in his 60th game of the season. That's a lot. In July. That's a lot any time of the season, but shit in July. And that point. Oh, it's like half the games of the season. It's pitching. And fellas, as always, a few guys we could have chosen from, but out of everybody, that's the man who's standing out in front. Fucking bullshit. Oh, well, they only played. Well, let's see. Runner tags will advance into third. Jackie Bradley, Superman. In the They've only played ninety. They what? They played ninety-seven games the first year in the season, and he's pitching sixty of them, which means he's only not pitched in thirty-seven of them. That is overworking your bullpen to an extreme. Look at this way. You're not even you're not you're at ninety you're not even a hundred games are yet. In this season, you've already pitched 
you already had your pitcher pitching two thirds. One of your pitch relief pitchers already pitching two thirds of the games. Your pit, your bullpen guys gonna be exhausted by the end of the season. Uh, amount of times you've worked them. I don't even know what his things are, but but God, that was that, that must he must fucking yeah, like a, a bunch already. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will get his first opportunity now, and as you can see, he begins play with 35 home runs. Will work in September. Swing and a ball, hard hit toward deep. It's a lie. Still, not even August yet. In game, I mean that's that's, that's crazy. I think. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. And say goodbye. Gone, yeah. Into the seats and right for a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 36 on the year for him. As the Yankees start to pull away a bit, it's now four to nothing. Oh, and here comes the long ball again to bite him. The second one he's allowed here in the first two and two thirds. I'll tell you what, the way he's throwing right now, the third one might send him to the showers. Really, Nightbot? Really? Ugh. So, for ignoring my command, changing the command. You motherfucker. Nightbot, just stop. Egg. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will get another shot. He homered his last time. Now the first pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. A runner at first with no outs here. From the stretch. Now a swing as he rifles this one into center for a base hit. The base hit? will make it around as he gets in there at third on what was a terrible throw. And at this point... He already made it, but they just made sure that the guy was in there safe. Bad throw was... He comes through again here. Pretty much made sure the guy was going to be safe, but... The guy made it. Either way, but... We'll stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. And that gets down... Well, not really, considering they're up three to nothing at that point, but... Yeah, he's swinging a pretty hot bat here. Three for four now after the base hit. That wasn't a little bleeder. That ball was smoked. Sir Dudenstein. I have an only uh, insurance run, really. Two on, two out here in inning number eight. In the air to straight away. Thing there is. The scarred deer run, that was such a bad thing. Extra run there. And the two out front will not Damn it. Pass as the inning is over. Yanks strand a pair. They lead it six to two. Archie. Bradley is on out of the bullpen now, so he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. 
Time to hand out top player of the game honors for this one. And guys, I think we can all agree that this is okay. I'm not sure why. That's just the, the weird thing is they'll sometimes give it to you even though you don't deserve, probably deserve it. But when you do deserve it, they won't give it to you. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. It's games of them. The fuck? Oh, uh, by one point. Great. Consecutive years in the postseason for the Oakland A's. The center. Hicks going back. And now over. Makes the catch on the warning track. Aaron Hicks, 420 feet from home plate, holds it in. Pat Chase. Lee. Andrew Lumbo and starting pitcher Keith Drew, the Yankees from Michael Glenn. Okay. Ball straight three and a no hitter. Josh Beckett. Well, listen, as long as it's not my guy, it's not a guy that's not gonna. Uh, it's not gonna screw us up. Both teams getting their final warm ups in as we welcome you. You're training away. First pitch of game two. Game's done that before. Before we turn that corner, here is this side. Oh, we're gonna trade a bullpen away. Gonna trade our fucking starting pitching away. Oh, first place. I get nothing back. I mean, no, it, it's it's as crazy as the crumbs trade. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. EK, our home nine is. And for those who don't know, Crumbs too also plays this game from time to time, and um. He got traded from the Dodgers to the Tampa Bay Rays, and he was happier with the his guy being the Dodgers because you know they were a good team. It got in the World Series, got to the playoffs, and his trade to a bad team. And insult to injury. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. The second season after he got traded, the season after he got traded, the Dodgers won the World Series in this game. So a two-run shot yep. to left center, home run number 37 on the year, as the Yankees move out to a three-to-nothing lead. Wow, he is proven. Talk about rubbing the salt in the wound. Home run in last night's ball game and. Now another one here. That's just trading it, trading it, and then then winning the World Series after the year after they trade it. His dudeness will try again after hitting that two-run homer his last time around. Fouled straight back. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw to first will get him easily. Come on. And Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, will stride in. But first, we take you back to the third as you take another look here at his two-run homer that had him rolling early on. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at-bat. It's nothing in one. And this is a guy who will not get cheated up there. And he almost came out of his shoes on that one. And this is fouled straight back. Now here it comes. And a swing and a miss. Oh, come on. Bullshit. I didn't even swing fully. It was a swing fully. Fucking like... Oh, bullshit. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, a real good right at the first base. And that's bullshit, 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 bullshit. That is extreme agility by a former 
football player. That looked like he was heading into the secondary and evaded the free safety. And the pitch, and Blanco bunts it, and it's a good bunt. Stoat has it. He will wing it down the right field line. Here comes Crawford, and this game is over. And the Giants... MLB The Show is on the air as we come at you this evening from Globe Life Park in Arlington. Tonight it's game three of this four-game set between the Eastern Division leading New York Yankees and the Texas Rangers. How's everyone doing today? I'm complaining about my day so far. So it's always nice to get stuff done ahead of time and like have a few minutes to relax. Oh come on, he isn't even touching the base. Oh my god, that that is a fucking na seriously that has to be stopped. That fucking neighborhood play. Why is that even allowed in the game? Now the first pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So went past him. Again, that would be playing fair. Sir Dudenstein, his dude fucking like playing magic, and that's bullshit. So that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind. Stop. Looking. Just wanted to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And the Not getting that ball. He's that one fucking, be the fucking Harry Houdini out. out there again, teaming. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness will stand in, and they've been able to hold him in check so far. Over three You've been teaming to get me thorough that. Hold me. He's been a doing it. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on, game. Stop fucking lying. That ball is nowhere near. It's catchable, and you fucking catch it. Bullshit. You are fucking so full of bullshit right now. You are so full of bullshit. You're not even funny right now. Here's the pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Oh my god, with the lies. Now here's the cheating. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. You're supposed to early in account those more balls in the strike zone. You have not. Again and again, you have not. And that's breaking your own mechanics, breaking your own rules. Knowing your mechanics, knowing breaking your own rules. No. Bullshit. My god, cheating. Oh, for cheat. Cheat, cheat, cheat. Again, cheating. Not supposed to throw more balls early in the count. Based on its own fucking mechanic. And how about the appreciation from these fans? A spectacular catch. With everyone standing at Dodger Stadium, Kershaw pitches. Carpenter swings and hits a drive. Right center field. It's in the gap. And it's down off the wall. Molina scores. Adam scores. Jay scores. Carpenter. It's in me saying it. It's all fucking mechanics in the game say it's not supposed to do it and it purposely ignores it Matt Vaskersian back now on the MLB pre it's almost show. as bad as the AI in uh, Mario Kart trying to pretend that it's not fucking picking the same tracks on purpose Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness will be our subject well, it's blatantly obvious Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness will stand in for the first time, and you can see the average there as he continues to flirt with a 400 season. Yep, uh, 
and it ought to open up this lead to two. And the runner will yeah. And he is in there. Hey, the third at least. But damn. I think the phrase here is when you're hot, you're hot. He's been on fire the last week or so. And it's going to continue here as he drives this all the way out to the wall. It'll wind up an RBI triple. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, will stand in. He tripled homer run his first time around. Now here's the first pitch. That's heading for the hole, and it'll it's a hit. The hole into right. He's two for two. It's a base hit. And another hard hit ball off of him right there. And that's not the first one he's allowed so far. As you take a look at his line, not too much to write home about right there. This no. One of his better performances at all. Now the first pitch. Yeah. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Boy, and call off the dogs already as this is down for extra bases. And the runner will score from second. And a relay to the plate. What are you doing? That should be a double. Down trying to score. Oh my god. Again, the AI freaking. We'll get things started here in the top of inning number six. I think we should, and when you should run, it doesn't run sometimes. Now, the first pitch of the inning is sent in the air out to straightaway center. Miles is under it. The running, on, the running mechanics of this game are fucked up. At times, I mean, there's no reason you should be running there. There are times you should be running. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It doesn't run. It doesn't fucking make a lick of sense. Will not get cheated up there, and he almost came out of his shoes on that. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Here we go, right now, fellas. Now here it comes. Hey, let it fly, let it fly, right? And here's a ball hit in the air, mm. and this is going to wind up a foul ball. Another 0-2 coming. Hey, come on now. Here we go. Nice the next 0-2 misses, and that'll move on 1-2 now. On 0-2, if that's a curveball, a, a changeup, a sinker, then maybe you get a guy to chase. But it's much easier. Come on. Yeah. Lay off the 0-2 and took, so I got the 1-2 the and uh, that went out. Run of the season for him as the blowout continues. Well, it's got to be getting near the point where they need to make some alternate plans with this guy up there. I mean, now that's his third home run in the series. I mean, what more do you need to see? Carlos Martinez will come on now in a mop up role, though she'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Time to hand out Topps Player of the Game honors for this one. And guys, I think we can all agree that this fellow right here deserves it more than anybody that took the field in this one. Yeah, I think in the end, this really could have been anybody's award. I should have had a cycle, because that should have been double. They hit. The first one, then the second. Oh, it's like this. Go set it. Okay, they off. Great. That's great. No need for one, but. Aaron Hicks, 420 feet from home 
And welcome back to the MLB pregame show as we prepare you for game two of our series with the always important Topps player spotlight. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will stand in for the first time, and you can see the average there as he continues to flirt with a 400 season. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Yeah, bullcrap. Jimenez is over, and he tucks it away for the second out. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. And now the second pitch of the inning is in the air to right. And he will run. Be over the wall again. Peen again. Again. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will stand in. And he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. And that one swung on and missed 0 1. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats. Fucking bullshit game. You're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you. You don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. And a swing and a miss. Oh my god. You motherfucking cheating, lying piece of shit. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness. Will step in with the tying run on first, so he's got to concentrate and work on getting on base here. Now here's the first pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. He's ready now. The pitch. On he looked like a caveman swing and a club on that. Oh shit, bullshit, 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 bullshit. Ready? Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But Come on. The next 0 2. Got him. Did not swing too early. Fouled it off, you fucking lying piece of filth. Just lying. Again, lying. Lying! Lying about when I swung, I swung Carly. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground. No. No, there's nobody. They should not have been over there. Green Spray said, fucking stop. Not a lot of really, guy right there. It shouldn't have been right there. We did see it came from this man's bat. He's our top player of the game. Hashtag bullshit. Could have given this award to three or four different people, but you definitely can't overlook his contribution. He really played a great ball game. So that'll a bullshit, bullshit. Farquez, that's bullshit. That was definitely a pop or something, but pop. That's a ball run. That's a well play. Getting a fucking team there. I don't know if the visible walls crumps went into the last night, so we played it and see if it ran into a visible wall. Considering our crumps are chilled again, or fucking happened, I don't know what it ran into the visible wall. Fucking. I wouldn't be surprised. Balls are running into visible walls. I don't think that's an accident. I don't think that's a glitch. I think that's a fucking purpose thing. Make sure the eye fucking catch balls to make guys get out. Crump thinks that's a glitch. Any a fucking glitch. And a foul tip held on to here at strike one. Eric, you take a look at the home. I think they would put it in just the fuck fucker guys. A place like that. Make sure get guys out. The little things have been a recurring theme on these telecasts for years now, but. When you're in a losing streak like this, no matter... Oh, there's no such thing like that in the game. You believe them? You believe them? Well, there's one way to get our first run of the game across. A good hustle there on the RBI triple, and they're in good shape to possibly make it 2-0 with another base hit. 
Now here's the first pitch. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. Already 40 pitches now here in the first few innings. Yeah, at this point in the game, he's going to have to start pitching to contact a little bit more. Fuck you. He may not make it five innings. Hey, come on, let the big dog eat, buddy. He's set, now the pitch. Too high. One and two. Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a uh, okay. curveball. He'll try again, one, two. To two balls and two strikes now. And I think that's been a big part of the problem so far. He just can't locate his fastball, especially in situations where he has to. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw gets him. Yeah, okay. At least the guy got over the second. I mean, third. Maybe. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will dig in one for two to this point in the ball game. First pitch on the way. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second, and that's through for a base hit. You're up, you're up, you're up. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will get another shot now, two for three. Yeah, glad he didn't go there, try for second there, but nail. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. Bullshit! You think it ain't because they're at them? Extra base hit. Sir Dudenstein. Gotta be playing fair. Get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. Line hard, deep into left. Garcia. Bullshit! Bullshit! The fuck is with the wall? The fucking... Let's ball down they should be going further than I am. Like so much sense. Oh, two coming. Swing and a fly ball toward right center into the alley. Bradley on a run. Jackie dies. Oh, he caught it. He laid out and made a sensational and play. Runner tags. He'll advance into third. Jackie Bradley, Superman in the alley. And how about the appreciation from these fans? A spectacular catch. And the pitch is Blanco bunts it, and it's a good bunt. Stone has it. He will wing it down the right field line. Here comes Crawford, and this game is over. Skip the train. Boston. That's, that's, that's why yesterday I wanted to get that bring it home. I mean, you saw him like, we played like almost two weeks of games on the road. So, yeah, you know, I was I was so in so wanted when they do that at home yesterday was because we're not gonna be home for the two weeks. Very much. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will stride in now. Two for five in the series finale on Sunday. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now here it comes. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's Ugh. Bullshit, bullshit. They've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out, and in fact dropping six Ooh. of their last seven. And you know, the little things have been a recurring theme on these telecasts for years now, but... When you're in a losing streak like this, no matter how minor it is, it always seems like the little things are going the other team's way. That has certainly been the case these last few games. The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Now the pitch. Hit on the ground to short. On to first, so a good bounce. Bullshit. As he gets the ground ball for the first out. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Swing and a liner. Foul. Here 
Here it comes. Goodness. 0 oh, 2 now. You Fuck you, game. Right Fuck there. you. More than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night. And we'll have to leave it there. Bullshit. Bullshit. So a good job for him there to bounce back after giving up four last time around. Up next for the game. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, will try it again. He's I didn't add the strike zone where it said it did. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. He went wise like that. Pause, now the pitch. And boy, this at bat is not starting off. Look at that, look at four fucking pitches. I'm only gonna count. Last two of bats. Out. Oh my god, again with the cheating game! Stop! You're blowing, you cheating, and I fucking only fell off. I did not big and miss. Again, cheating, my guy. Just cheating. Are any of them even strikes? I mean, if you have a little bit more discipline as a hitter, you might be looking at a 3 and 0 count instead of going back to sit on the bench. Base hit. Well, Lions, um, the game is, has a set of rules based on its own mechanics that it's, like an, oh, that it's ignoring. Okay, they probably fucking could call the strikes anyway! And guys, you can't win if you can't Just the fuck with me! Take home tops player of the game honors in this one. Bullshit that was. Deep right field. Back to the wall. And it's a they take more pitches than they fucking call them strikes when they fucking lie but where it lands or it doesn't. Baseball from the big apple. Right. We're at Yankee State. This game sometimes tonight. Game two of this three game series between the Boston Red Sox. And their arch rivals, the New York Yankees. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. First pitch coming. First pitch of the at bat is lifted in the air out to left. Jew. That should be gone. And he will put it away to... Should not be that fucking... That should be all run there. Fucking, you know, run there. It's you cheating again, game. It's you bullshit cheating. His dudeness will stand in with two on and two out here in the third. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Fouled straight back. There was 3-1 right now. Foul tip held on to behind the plate. It's My God. And this is again, again with the teaming. Not get cheated up there, and he almost came out of his shoes on that one. And he comes back with a fastball. Bullshit. That was, was a devil's morphe off the plate, and you said it was. And fucking stop lying and teaming. You're fucking lying and teaming. I got lying and teaming. Take a pitch. It does that shit. Cut on and oh my god. Pop, lying, and cheating. The foul territory, you fucking lying shit! Foul ball! Foul ball! Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, Stop cheating me! Still out there, and he's definitely been a tough nut to crack. No, he's been dominant all game long. And I think. All 
I put up with that shit. I, I'm not. I'm not. I am not put up with that shit, game. I ain't, I ain't enough of that shit yesterday. Not again. You're just fucking lying and cheating. Take more prisons than they do shit like that. And they fucking lie about what the location was. Lie about the fuck. They, they lie about fucking. And they fucking came and fucking throw it where they're supposed to based on their own mechanic. Up my own saying what the fucking game says. I don't give me that pack as I ran out of the game. That'd be funny. They <laughs> did. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Good Thursday morning to you, Show Nation. Let's jump right in to. It would be funny if they did. Eric claimed my pack, that, but that'd be funny. <laughs> I mean, the, the, um, the pack for Diamond Dynasty. That's why I was like a minute late today getting started. Started um, the cast. I was messing around with Diamond Dynasty a little before getting on. I wasn't playing, it was just like opening pack, the packs I had gotten. So, and uh, feeding uh, my guy cards in that mode. Bases full of Yankees now and two men out. First pitch on the way. We're still in the first. First pitch fastball swung out and missed 0 1. We have batted around this inning. They come into this one in need of some kind of spark to turn them around as they find themselves in the midst of a five game slide. And really, what they ain't got to help. Ain't nothing. It's just the first inning. Out at bat, one big defensive play. You need somebody to do something to put some life into that dugout. Ken McKay. Well, he scored eight, eight, eight runs that inning. Now here's the first pitch, and this is fouled back. And yeah, that's a good sign for you. Yeah. Your pitcher gives up eight runs of the first. It doesn't even make it out of the first. He's ready. Now the pitch. Out in front as this is pulled fouled into the seat. Look at that. It was a reliever at that point. It was And he didn't do much better either. He's set. Now the pitch. Here's a swing and a high pop. Uh, I want to see if that was... Uh... Game recap. Two thirds of an inning, giving up eight runs, eight hits, eight arm er runs, walking to. And no one will get it. As they cast a horrible line. Another 0 2 coming. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards dig, dig, short. Dig, dig, dig. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, will get a shot here in a bases loaded situation, and you'd have to say they've got the right man for the job up here. Yeah, the team leader in RBI. He's got a shot to push. That gun foul, damn it. He 
He's set. Now the pitch. Swing and he pops him up. Oh, come on. Bogarts. Bullshit. The first swing to have an on run like with every fight. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will stand in. He flew out his last time up. His new first pitch coming. I had him lunging at that one. Come on. Stop with the bullshit. That's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Especially starting off in half bat. Gets a good piece of it off toward the third base coaching box. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swing, hard hit ball. To no. A, it was not on the ground. B, it was not fucking to anybody. It's right past them. For, for base hit, but it was on the ground. Base hit, but base hit. Fat fucking playing fair. You don't want to play fair. You just want to fuck my guy over. For no reason, just be a dipshit. That's what you're being right now. A dipshit. Where's monkey dipshit? That's what you're being. He scores three with a double to right center, and the Cardinals lead seven to six. <sighs> I still can't do that. Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will stand in for the first time here. And one more home run will get him to 40 for the year. And that's by him. It's 0-1. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Now a ball grounded. To no. Back to first, so he didn't even get the ball. Fucking liar. Fucking liar. First offering. Adi jolts this half inning to attention as the first pitch is hit into right field for a leadoff single. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will step in. One for two in the ball game. Now here's the first pitch. That's hit hard on the ground and it'll make it through into right field for a two out single. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Sir Dudenstein. This is horse shit. I think I got the score wrong. We're the one supposed to be a league 11 to 2 game. Yeah. No, he's been dominant all game long. And I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. And that's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. He's been free and easy the whole way through. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. So bullshit. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will stand in. He popped out in his last time. First pitch coming. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. He's set. Now the pitch. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here. Is this straight away right field? And you can there we go. Now one bites the dust. Gone into the second deck. Shot to straight away right field and even 40 home runs on the year for him now as they try to claw back it's a five run deficit oh and his great year just keeps going on and on 
like you say, that's home run number 40 on the year now. He's definitely making a case to be in the running to take some hardware home at the end of the season. Well, you obviously from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Again, kissing the ass of the pitcher. I didn't fucking deserve it. He didn't. That is extreme by a former football player. That looked like he was heading into the secondary and evaded the three safety. Two one. That is into left field. Cespedes. Still can't keep that from. Peace. Peace, Arcida. Waving Kendrick Cole. Here's the throw to the plate. Howie is gunned down. What an unbelievable throw by Yoana Cespedes. 0 oh, 2 coming. Swing and a fly ball toward right center into the alley. Bradley on a run. Jackie Dunn. Oh, he caught it. He laid up Madison Baseball from the Big Apple. We're at Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the Toronto Blue Jays and the East-leading New York Yankees. And as we close in on first pitch, there you get a look at the starting lineups this afternoon. And we'll also give you a quick look at our two starting pitchers as you see their numbers right there. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, will stand in and you see what he's done over the past four games as hot as they come now here's a ball hit hard on the ground at second bullshit just pull off the bag game what the fuck you smoking smoking something there fact of is that was in gut by the guy and the fact of is it was in the back at the time we got the ball so, yeah Trying to fucking fool us. No, you know, fool us game. This is going to find the wall out near the Yankee bullpen. And the runner will score from second. And he is in to score as well. And they've taken I got a double. And drove in two runs. Don't make the mistake again. Throw that third there. Because there was no way. I was going to get thrown. I didn't know I was going to make it the third there. First pitch on the way. Line hard to center field. And that is going to be... Nope, there first. Get the off way too soon to get the, the second there. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. Sir Dudenstein... Now here's the first pitch. On the ground to second base. This could be two. Oh, you fucker. Not a bit a double play. And you know it. Fucking bullshit. He did not get the ball. That would fucking pass him for a base hit. That was just ever playing fair, but. Yet another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. Now here's the first pitch. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. He's set now the pitch. He pulls this one high and deep to right center. Get up. Yeah. Oh, the wall scraper. The devil rose back over the wall. What the hell are you smoking? Well, sir. To right center field. 41st home run of the year for him. And they widen this lead to Yeah. nuisance in the first two games of this series a home run in last night's ball game and now another one here yeah that was a wall scraper wall scraper is when you just barely go over and hit the wall that one that was like at least in the second row there hit the wall and we down but it shouldn't be called a wall scraper should we call it a wall scraper? Because when he uses a wall scraper, it's a, it only got over, only got over because it hit the wall, scraped the top of the wall and over. Which wasn't true there. Now the one-one delivery, and here it is, and it's 
swung on a high drive left center field. Full going back. He's to the track, and he's right to the wall. He's there. He squeezes it, and the A's have won it. Three consecutive years in the postseason for the Oakland A's. Back here on the MLB pregame show, Matt Vaskersian getting you set for the finale of this three-game set. That'll come your way in mere moments, but first, we'll take a look at the top player spotlight. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will stride forward now, looking to keep that hit streak alive. Currently at six games entering play. Yeah. That's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. Base hit. They get when no one is. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness. Swing and he pops it Ugh. over toward foul yep. Gotta play. Come on, game. Stop teaming. And the home half of the fourth starts with a one pitch out. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will step in now, representing the potential tying run. Keep in mind, he is the team leader in home runs, so if anyone's got a shot of getting one out of here, it's him. And this is oh, Olympia bullshit. Air, bullshit, bullshit. Gustafson retreats to the outfield grass, and he has Stop it for round Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Now here's the first pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. No. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is... Well, Luke Crate's playing life restrained. Can we be... Big Blake Cup? Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, is the last chance now... Game that we beat the... I don't know. Totally beat this episode five now, but we beat the uh, first four episodes of uh, it last week. Bullshit, bullshit, you fucking lying piece of shit. Help. 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 Fuck you, game. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and your fucking painting. That's why I think they cheat. Yeah, I can't tell you, but it's just like giving the game the little finger. God damn, I wish I'd known. I should have seen that earlier. I would have done that. I would have watched that on that. They're paying more attention to that one. I saw that first time. Is upon us. Let's take a look there at how go. Sunday's baseball action unfolded. Starting in the AL East, the Blue Jays took on the Bronx Bombers in the Big Apple, and it was the Yanks who came away victorious. The score was seven to five. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, was a force at the plate, driving in three runs. He is currently among the AL leaders in batting average. As of today. Definitely should not be listening to Anthony Toronto. Definitely not to Cleveland. Really? Oh. 
No. A World Series win for the San Francisco Giants for the third time in the last five years. And their hero, Madison Bumgarner. 0 2 coming. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. It's the first day of September, the final full month of the regular season. And that, of course, means rosters have been expanded. Major League teams have made the call to many of their most polished minor league talents. So we'll be seeing plenty of fresh faces in today's games. But before the first action of I the can't even do anything to it. Here's what happened in the final day of August. Looking first at the American League East, Gus Slosher was impressive on the bump, earning his 12th victory of the season in the process. The Detroit Tigers were in Toronto to take on the Blue Jays, and it was the Tigers who prevailed. The final score was 9-6. to six. Kevin Kiermeyer really cashed in at the plate with three hits and six RBIs. His modest hitting streak was also extended to five straight games. Justin Miller earned his seventh W in relief so far this season. The Baltimore Orioles paid visit to North Texas to match up against the Rangers, and it was the Rangers who came out on top. The score was 3-1. to one. Tom Gillespie. Adam swings and hits a drive. Deep right field. Back to the wall. And it's a goner. A goner. A three run homer for Matt Adams. 3 2 Cardinals in a magical seventh inning. <sighs> Winding down here on the MLB pregame show as we count down to the final game of this three-game set. But before we take you to the action, the latest installment of the Topps Player Spotlight. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, is in that spotlight. And no surprises lately for this guy. He continues to be as reliable as a Swiss train. Well, Matty, I can't speak to the European train schedules, but I do know he's a terrific player. He's the kind of guy every organ. All right, lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on the show. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, will stand in for the first time, and you can see the average there as he continues to flirt with a 400 season. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Yep. Catch made out there. Come on. You fucking liar, that was gone. Runs right through the stop sign. And the run will score as the Yankees grab the early 1-0 lead. And, and that's a good job in that situation. It's going to be 2-0 lead. The bottom line is you've got to produce a run, and he did. Come on, Napa. Update the fucking command. I thought Zachary's fly was on run. We'll dig in. He drove in a run with the sacrifice fly his first time. First offering on the way. And this will be fouled away. He's set. Now the pitch. Fouled straight back. There we go. He's set. Now the pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball's fouled away. Ready with another 0-2. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. And a good throw gets him one gun. Foul ball, foul ball, foul ball, foul ball. Foul ball, foul ball, foul ball. Foul ball. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, will get a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. Now the first pitch. Pitches away, but it's swung on and grounded. To bullshit, bullshit. And now this ball's going to wind up out of play. And that'll compound matters even further. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness. And now King, instead of uh, in being in over with to get Joe Rudden. And up scoring a couple of runs. He's ready now, the pitch. 
swung on and taken the opposite way out toward deep left center. And he will be in the seats. Game in the seats. Again, team game. Again, knocking that ball down. Man. Team. Over here in inning number five, as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep him in the game here. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. To over the wall. That should be over the wall, game. What the fuck? I've had three home runs in this game. You fucking have stolen them. Stolen them. Stolen them. Not by taking double over the wall and catching him by fucking not letting the ball go over the wall like it's supposed to like it was hit to do and that's what I did that you was fucking lying and cheating hit well enough hit hard enough hit good and gone you fucking lied Plain and simple. Postseason for the Oakland A's. With everyone standing at Dodger Stadium, Kershaw pitches. Carpenter swings and hits a drive. It's more than a century old, but still one of the best around as you get a great look at Fenway Park here in Boston. A Labor Day matchup in store for you here between the New York Yankees and their bitter rivals, the Boston Red Sox. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, will dig in and he's got to be licking his chops as he has absolutely owned this guy in his career. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. Runners on first with one down. One strike now from Cole. Fastball and that ran in on him. Ooh, that guy was looking to hit me there. As they start play here tonight, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, when you look back to that last game, you'll take production like that anytime you can get it. It makes the starter's life easier. Heck, it makes your whole staff breathe easier. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. And this is fouled back and out of play. Hey, at least they uh, scored that correctly for once. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. And now a bobble, and he's not going to have a play. Yeah, and you watch this again. It was a great play just to lay out to get this thing. And he knows he's going to have to hurry. But as he scrambles up to his feet, he forgets one small detail, and that's the baseball. He forgot the ball, on the, and he left it on the ground. Yeah. Like, whoops! <laughs> I love the fact that they actually mentioned they, they left the ball on the ground. Like, uh, we, I forgot something. Whoops, it is it. Dudeness will stand in now. And I to get the ball from going in the outfield, but I forgot the ball to throw it. to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Fouled back. Every time we're losing, they say that, like, you do realize that every bullpen is good. Line fouled off to the left in a few. Right, guys. <laughs> Considering where where they are, they probably don't have a good bullpen. Another 0-2 coming. Now a swing, and he just fouled so, this one. yeah. May not be as hard as you think. We call it back in the game. 
get back in it. The right side, but foul, and I'll try it again. Runners on first and third, two away. Here comes another 0 2. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seat. Now another 0 2. And this one runs in. Bullshit. Did not miss it again. Like, if fucking stopped. He ain't got the fucking. It's just fucking out of the strike zone like that much. Yeah. Well, team gets. He's supposed to fell more in the strike zone. And this is going to be a foul ball. You're breaking out mechanics game. Breaking out mechanics. Is that right? And the pitch. And a bouncing ball. Foul. By the way, I. <laughs> I think I want to mention what Chrome's uh, talk about really fucked up thing. Oh, come on! Bullshit! Oh my god. You fucking lying sack of fucking filth. Um, another thing I want to mention. What? Oh, you fucking coward! You fucking coward! You fucking Fucking pussy piece of shit! You pussy piece of shit! You pussy piece of fucking shit! I'm sorry, but that is pussy baseball! That is not fucking baseball! You don't fucking walk guy on the fucking yourself, but you don't do that shit. You don't do that shit. That's pussy baseball. That's pussy baseball. Pussy! Go some balls! I've seen women play tougher than that. I mean, fucking there's a room, but fucking if you're gonna be playing worse than a fucking. It was cowling a fucking. Cowling lion and not fucking thought pitched him. Hey, 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 normal pitcher with a fucking pistol. I'm a pistol in this situation. No, we're gonna lock you, cause we're gonna be a pussy. We're gonna be a coward. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna pitch you. We're gonna make you fucking lose. You know, at back, cause we're gonna be fucking cowards. And that. What's that acting like? They're acting like pussies. It is. It's fucking cowardly just to do that. This is. Oh, it's strategy. Yeah, it really worked out for you. Lost the game, Boston. How'd that work out for you? All right, you lost the fucking game anyway. Yeah, that strategy did not. Work. And now, your Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will get his first shot here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field line. It's slicing. Gone. Stay inside yeah. Field foul pole for a home run. The strategy did not work. They ended up being up winning the game. So, guess what? That was fucking game just being a pussy. Well, this is supposed to be a slider on the outside part of the plate, but as you can see, the action on this ball makes it come back towards the hitting zone just a little bit. He reaches out, drives it the other way, and somehow manages to keep it fair and tuck it just inside the foul pole. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses. Oh, his pitches are so much pussy, they, you probably could have replaced him and go do a better job. This game. Especially starting off an On to first, and they turn the double play. There's some good girls about... I just some better than the fucking pussies out there now in this game. But you see the good feed 
and then the strong return throw, and they're indeed able to roll him up. Now here's the first. I, I have so respectful, and they'll don't get me wrong. Way up on the infield, and I mean way up there. Vasquez. I know, I know. There are a bunch of women if I can kick my ass. I don't know, Rousey, I had total respect. Thank you. Sir Dudenstein, really? We'll try it again. Re you fucking, fucking bullshit me here again. Do not get that ball. It's off the bag, by the way. Um, it's off the bag. Out in the outfield grass on this play. You're not going to double this guy up. He's too fast. Still a pretty good job of at least getting that lead runner at second base. Okay, everybody get that one down the line for extra base hit. You know it. That's what should have that's what really happened. Again, that's you cheating. Again, getting a ball, you kind of get. Be playing fair. The bullshit in the player. Oh, uh, yeah, we're gonna get the bud. We can't get the bud, but we're gonna get it anyway. If the guys win, they shouldn't win. I can't even. I can now, but I don't have points. And the pitch, and Blanco bunts it, and it's a good butt. Dode has it. He will wing it down the right field line. Here comes Crawford, and this game is over. And the Giants. And now, your Boston. So back Jersey Day. Jersey Day. Take his first shot here, and he's got to be looking forward to this because he has clobbered this guy in the past. Driven the other oh, bullshit. Unlucky that time. Unless he's about ten feet taller than that, that is not catchable. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness. Hey, lemon dog. Lemon dog. Now here's the first pitch, and that's cut on and missed. Going one. Okay. Team here as we start the fourth inning, nothing, nothing. Yeah, I think we kind of knew that pitching might take the upper hand here. Maybe not to this extent, but both guys have really thrown the ball well. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. I would say for anyway, but the ball got away from him. And this, of course, is a ballpark that yields a lot of doubles as we take a look at the team leaders for the most two base hits this year. And in fact, that number is not only the highest in all the American League, but is actually the highest in all of baseball. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Here it comes. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> And they'll have no play as he reaches first base. Should be a base hit. That should be a base hit. A base hit. Again, scoring it wrong to screw my player over. One for three thus far. This is hit down the right field. He would have done it just like... That went off the... Either the wait a minute, wait, 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 Van Hilf, the lighting down the right field line. It 
their health void, deleting off the refill line. I don't really have one right now, but I think I'm done. I don't really. It's really me more than the. I really have one. And. That went off the lighting. And like. That went off the lighting. I don't even see you hit it. What the hell? Wait, where the hell? No, it didn't even go off the lighting. It's it, like an invisible wall. Did it? Okay, there it is. No? Okay, there it is. Look at where, where it goes. Look at this ball goes. Ball goes and just no, it doesn't even touch the the lighting. It doesn't even touch the lighting. It just bounces off of nothing. There's. <laughs> Look at, look, <laughs> it just, it just bounces off of nothing. You think it hits off the leg stand, but watch, it doesn't, it never touches. It doesn't touch anything, it just bounces, it just bounces off of, off of thin air. I gotta remember to highlight that one. Keep driving. Let's go, kid. The pitch. Hey, we got one. Out in front as he pulls this one down the line at first. And Bullshit. Should have extra base it, Gantini. Didn't win at least. Quite a lot of offense in this one, but if we had to highlight one guy that made the difference. I should have a do it before that, so I'm going to base it, but that ball hit nothing. Nothing. I thought it hit the, hit the, uh, the lighting down there. No, it, it bounced before it hit it. It bounced back towards the field before it even hit it. Like it hit the invisible wall. It hit an invisible wall. It just went boing. I can hit some wall, but there's no wall there. Three consecutive years in the postseason for the Oakland A's. Punted right at the first base, and that's an easy play. Oh, he missed it! Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Major League Baseball's postseason is right around the corner and the teams are fighting to punch their tickets. The action has definitely been exciting, so let's recap the latest news and results from yesterday. Starting in the AL East, 
The Boston Red Sox were in the Big Apple to play the Yankees, and it was the Yanks who came away victorious. The final was 10 to 4. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, was a fantasy owner's dream at the plate with three hits and four RBIs. He is currently among the AL leaders in batting average. Floyd Bernstein was victorious on the mound and picked up his 10th win of the season. Heading into today, the Yankees sit in first place in the American League. With everyone standing at Dodger Stadium, Kershaw pitches. Carpenter swings and hits a drive. Right center field. It's in the gap. And it's down off the wall. Molina scores. Adam scores. Jay scores. Carpenter. Inside the show with Justin Kevin. Does from the down. New week is upon us. Let's take a look back at how Sunday's baseball action unfolded. Looking first at the American League East. Now on three and two to Utley with Rollins leading from second. Here's the pitch from Let's Beckett. Let's keep that one. Down further. Josh Beckett for the 21st time in Dodgers. Inside the show. Damn it. Hello there, baseball fan. Two one. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Good morning, baseball fans. A great weekend of baseball has concluded, and we're set for a new week of games. But first, here's what happened around the league on Sunday. Looking first at the American League East. The New York Yankees fan visited was. the Mets at City Field for some interleague baseball, and it was the Yankees who came out on top. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. The regular season okay. is winding down, but the postseason races are heating up. Here's how yesterday's nail. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Welcome, baseball fans, to our Wednesday edition of Inside the Show. Let's jump right into Tuesday's action. Looking first at the American League East. The Red Sox paid visit to Yankee Stadium to do battle with the Pinstripers. And it was the Red Sox who held on for the win. No damn. The final five to three. Not that mad, Xander but Bogarts turned in a nice keep that up. Offensively with Yankees have won the division. Going back. And now over. Makes the catch. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Hi there, everyone. Welcome to this special postseason edition of Inside the Show. Let's take a look at the latest from around Major League Baseball. For Game 1 of the National League Division Series, the Philadelphia Phillies were in Pittsburgh to take on the Pirates. The Phillies came away with the win, the final 5-3. to three. They now lead the series 1-0 heading into Game 2. In game one of so the award, ALVP, Hank Aaron Award, Gold Glove Award. Park in the Gaslamp District. And it was San Diego who got the W in this one, 7 to 2. They now lead the series 1 to nothing heading into game two. Roger Ingram was hot at the plate collecting three hits in the game. And they played the game, that's why. See you back here tomorrow for another postseason recap. Have a. And the pitch is Blanco bunted, it, and it's a good bunch. Don't have it. He will win. Kidding me? Really? The pot. Like we would sweep them. We would not lose that fucking series. I'm sorry, but that's bullshit. Are you kidding me? Oh, I, f I fucking forgot to save. I thought I did. Mental. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Welcome, everyone. Let's jump right in and revisit the news and events from Monday. Starting in the AL East, the Baltimore Orioles took. And again, the two. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Please, here, actually, get points for a kiss. It's Sunday morning. Welcome to Inside the. And now the 1 1 delivery, and here it is. Let's take let's take less points. Good morning, baseball fans. Great Sunday action lies ahead. But first, here's what happened in Major League Baseball on Saturday. Starting in the AL East. With everyone standing at Dodger Stadium, Kershaw pitches. Inside the 
inside the show with Justin Allegri. Oh, you're redoing this because I forgot to save. October baseball is right Whoop. around the corner, and the playoff atmosphere has already kicked in for some clubs. Let's take a look at I'm an the idiot. shook out on the diamond yesterday. Looking first at the American League East, the Chicago White Sox did battle with the Yankees in the Bronx, and it was the Yankees who came away with the win. The final was 7-4. to four. Dave Serrano was a force at the... Now on three... Inside the... On and right at the first base, and that's an easy play. Ow. We've played until Saturday. Well, that's, that's a long time between games. It's a surprise. Hello, baseball fans. Thanks for joining us on this October morning. Here's what's going on around the league as the postseason rolls on. For game one of the National League Division Series, the Pittsburgh Pirates were in D.C. to take on the Nationals. And Pittsburgh was victorious in this one in extra innings. The final was 5-4. to four. They now lead the How many if I forget the save and then, like, that goes to this? Led the charge offensively with three knocks in the contest. In game one of the NL Division Series, the Arizona Diamondbacks did battle with the Pods at Petco Park, and it was the Padres who came out on top. The final was three to nothing. They now lead the series one to nothing. Yeah, six the away season. from Roger Ehum, run, Andrew Andrew runs well. Offensively with three base hits. And that's what's going on around baseball here in October. Join us again tomorrow for updates from around the postseason. Hey, we, we swept them. In, inside. In, in, inside. In, in, yeah. Hey. We're taking a dive back. Inside the show. A little bit of payback for the O1 series. Welcome to the show, baseball fans. Here's what's going on in the baseball world on this October morning. In Game 6 of the American League Championship Series, the White Sox were in the Bronx to take on the Yankees, and it was the boys from the Bronx who were victorious. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Here we go. I was gonna play any play um any of the twenty 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 season, but now we have something to play for it. Uh, More from the guys to get the standard so. though. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting New York Yankees. As their starting nine tonight will look like this. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will stand in now for the first time coming off, well, nothing short of a dynamic performance last time out. Well, it makes you wonder how they're going to attack him here in this game. I would bet that they're a lot more cautious with him. He waits now to pitch. Oh, and he's really getting... Okay. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. Really, really. Like an emergency hat. He set now the pit. And a half-hearted attempt. Oh, bullshit. Didn't half swing. I fucking fully swung. And hit it. It hit for home run. Again with the team. It almost always looks like the guy goes around. Here? It looked like a good call down there at third base. I think that bat did break the plane, and that is a strike. Up next for the game. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And the run is in to score as they'll grab the lead here, two to one. Yeah. Just another example of <laughs> needing the little things to go your way if you're going to win a ball game. Not a whole lot behind this swing right here, but it's going to wind up as an infield right, single. Pass and the pitcher, and then the, home a run to give them the, the second baser then get to a dive to throw me out. So, I'll let it. That was a base hit, but I'll take you. 
got victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. Now here's the first pitch. This is lifted the other way out to left center. Batista will range. Come on, that's seven. That's seven extra bases game. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. And this ball's going to find the seats down the field line. Foul strike one. Here it comes. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Look at the stop. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. Should be a base hit. Here's another look at first base. I mean, not only is this thing over his head, but you see it take off to the right field side of the bag, so it's not even on target. Very sloppy there. Potentially dangerous, too. Oh, it's on the Bull crap. Bull crap! You fuck. Nope, it went past the infield. They're fucking everything again. This is bullshit. On the fucking series, anyway. Fucking bullshit. Just bullshit. A championship. The dynasty. And now the one one delivery, and here it is, and it's swung on a high drive left center field. Full going back. He's to the track, and he's right to the wall. He's there. He squeezes it, and the A's have won it. Three consecutive years in the postseason for the Oakland A's. With everyone standing at Dodger Stadium, Kershaw pitches. Carpenter swings and hits a drive. Right center field. It's in the gap. And it's down off the wall. Molina scores. Adam scores. Jay scores. Um. He scores three with a double to right center. And the Cardinals lead seven to six. What an at bat by Carpenter. Now on three. Yeah, 20, 15, 16, 17. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That's number 10, Laro. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That's 10 I've won in a row. I played in. Baltimore in 1996. Josh Beckett, a no hitter. Put it right at the first base, and that's an easy play. Oh, he missed him. How in the world? There's something else I like. That is extreme agility by a former football player. Uh, Richard Everest. Got Schultz. Schultz is sad. He was one of our best pitchers. And again, the 2 2. Pop the ball. Yeah. Yeah, 15 and 4. 15 and 5 last year. 22 and 1. And 22. Wow. Well, back to back seasons and 22 game ones. Yeah. Chapman. It's a, there, Jordan Zimmerman, the Jordan Fee, Gordon Beckham. So the White Sox, I know, I know Krause would be pissed off about that. Um. Oh no, uh, okay, yeah. Hey, these guys don't even know anymore because all that right now are more in the like point where a lot of known guys are retired. So Nino, wow, when they got, I'm surprised. Um, um, just as it didn't, I guess they didn't get enough wins. I don't know. Well, it's we had. I don't know. Yeah, 
Giants once again win a game in a very unusual way as this crowd goes crazy. Oh, two coming. Swing and a fly ball toward right center into the alley. Bradley on a run. Jackie dives. Oh, he caught it. He laid out, made a sensational play. Sam in spring training. Appreciation from these fans, a spectacular catch. Salvador Perez, the 2 2. Popped up. I gotta get that stuff back up. Up the ceiling, it's just too off. Perez, but that's okay. Francisco Giants for the third time in the last five years. And their hero, Madison Bumgarner. It's. The savior. Right center field. It's in the best safe from sorry. Adam scores. Jay scores. Carpenter. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Good Thursday morning to you, Show Nation. Let's jump right in to Wednesday's baseball action. Looking first at the American League East. The Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Good morning, baseball fans. A great weekend of baseball has concluded, and we're set for a new week of games. But first, here's what happened around the league on Sunday. Start right at the first base, and that's inside. The Ooh, perfect coming up play in Boston. Happy Friday, baseball fans. Before the weekend series get underway, here are the highlights from Thursday's action. Looking first at the American League East, the Yankees were in St. Pete to take on the Tampa Bay Rays, and it was the Rays who came away victorious. The final was 5-4. to four. At the moment, the Rays sit in fourth place in the American League East division, five and a half games back. The Tigers were in KC to take on the Royals, and it was the Tigers who came out on top. The score was 2-1. to one. Right now, the Royals are in third place in the AL. Well, we're on the road. Three and a half games back. The Tigers are second in the division, only a game and a half back. The New York Mets took on the Marlins no. in South Florida, and Miami prevailed in extra innings. The score was two to one. Heading into today, the Marlins are in third place in the NL East, only a game and a half back. The Mets are at the bottom of the division, two and a half games out of first. The Braves matched up against the Nationals in D.C., and it was the Braves who came out on top. The final was 10 to 7. Jason Hayward collected four hits and led the charge offensively for the winning side. Now on three and two to Utley with Rollins leading from second. Here's a pitch from Beckett. Ball straight three and a no hitter. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Welcome everyone. Let's jump right in and revisit the news and events from Monday. Alright, just starting with the team or else the from the beginning. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Hello there, baseball fans. Before Tuesday's action gets kicked off, let's recap what went down or just starting right. This game can't help itself, can it? It just wants to be a dick shit. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Really? 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 Really, you really want to make sure my guy is the only one well hit, isn't it? Inside the show with Justin Allegri. To not be not no hit or one hit. Multiple hits. Home runs. Inside the show with Justin 
Oh my god. What? This, this is ridiculous! I am not fucking a 1 for 5, 1 for 4. It should be 5 for 5, 5 for 4. Something like that. that that's playing horribly. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Welcome, everyone. Oh, two coming. Swing and a fly ball toward right center into the alley. Bradley on a run. Jackie. Trying to get to some uh, milestone. And it just... Inside the show. Let me in. It's ridiculous. Welcome, baseball fans, to our Wednesday edition of Inside the Show. Let's jump right into. And now the 1 1 delivery, and here it is. And it's... Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. The start of a new week is upon us. Let's take a look back at how. Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. Happy Hump Day, everyone, as we hit the halfway point of... With everyone standing at Dodger Stadium. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. The weekend is almost here, and some great series are ahead. But before we get there, we'll go back to Thursday's action to see how it shook out. Starting in the AL East, the New York Yankees battled the Tampa Bay Rays in St. Pete, and it was the Yankees who came away with the win. The final score was 3-2. At my league. The Rays sit in second place in the American League East Division. They're two games back. Gotta be hit by home points. The Royals in KC. And it was Detroit who was victorious. The final was 15 to 3. Now on 3 and 2 to Utley with Rollins leading from second. Here's the pitch from Beckett. Ball strike three and a no hitter. Josh Beckett for the 21st time in Dodger history. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Come on. Put it right on the first baseman, and that's an easy play. Oh, he missed him. How? Why is this sad? That is extreme agility by a former football player. That looked like he was heading into the second. Why is this? Dude, he should not be spamming letters. Happy Saturday morning to you. Here's the news and results from Friday. Dude, East, the Red cut Sox it out. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Welcome, everyone. A very happy Easter to you. Two one. That is been to left field. Cespedes giving chase. Not going to get there. Pulls in. Kendrick on his way to third. Cespedes bottles it. Cena, waving Kendrick home. He's doing that, but if the guy is just spamming the same words over and over again, well, you have to. And again, the two -two. Sorry, I didn't want to. Didn't leave you much choice. Let me do it at home in Boston. To center. Hitch going back. Fastest. The catch of a running drag. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. There we go. What? Go ahead here. With Justin Allegri. That's fine. Welcome, everyone. A very happy Easter to you from all of us here at Inside the Show. There's some great Easter Sunday baseball ahead later today, but first, let's recap how Saturday's games played out. Starting in the AL East, the Boston Red Sox paid visit to Yankee Stadium to do battle with the Pinstripers. And it was the Yankees who came out on top. The final score was 3-2. to two. Bernie Floyd had a huge day offensively, collecting three hits and driving in three. He extended his hitting streak to a modest six really, game. Really game. Really? Orioles in Baltimore, and it was the Orioles who came out on top, 20 to four. It's like, what and the hell is that guy probably in Thursday? Amassing an impressive seven RBIs at the plate. The Philadelphia Phillies took on the Rays in interleague action at the Trop. The Phillies came away with the win. The score was five to one. Ryan Early earned the victory. I can't, the I can't wait for the, uh, 
at the Whisper system. Let's get a free goal. There we go. Finally get back up. Bad back up the main end. Launched a pair of home runs and drove in four along the way. The Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. <sighs> Let's finish off. It will be 15 to show for now. It'll come back this somewhere. Maybe we won't. I don't know. So much. We'll see. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness will stand in, and you see there, he's been scorching hot these past few games. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. A play, got a play. Have a play. Come on, you fucker. Mm. You motherfucker. Really? Really? Really game? For the fourth. That score is wrong. We're supposed to be up 9 0, not you. Oh. You would not be at 2 and 9 unless 9 2. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. First pitch on the way. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's. I don't know what the hell Lemon, Lemon Dog's problem was there at the end. Just trying to get if his hands being timed out by Nightbot. Nightbot does not like that kind of stuff. Nobody does. It's randomly, randomly doing letters of words and chat. He waits. Now the pitch. Now a double play ball here as this is on the third. Okay, yeah, somebody don't ban you care for that kind of shit. Chris Martin will come on now to try and sort this be honest. Like timed them out. I didn't like to, but Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness will stand in now. And he's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at bats so far. Woo! There it goes. Unbelievable total as he becomes the first player in baseball history to amass 800 career round trippers. That's it, it's gone. Oh my goodness, man. I mean, we've run out of adjectives to talk about this guy over his career. I mean, how can you fathom 800 career home runs? That's a number we thought we'd never see anybody reach. But here we are. All I can say is, wow. In many eyes, he is probably the greatest hitter to ever play the game. In order to reach this seemingly unreachable milestone, he has been incredibly consistent year in and year out. He is truly remarkable. Oh, that's a love. Here comes the Red Sox manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And a change is in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, will stand in now to begin their half of the ninth in a game that was decided long, long ago. Yeah, this is mop-up time out there right now, but hey, these at-bats still count against your batting average, so you can't go up there and just mail it in. You've got to see this through right to the end of the game. Yeah. Now the pitch. Oh, and this at-bat is quickly moving from bat. What the fuck is this thing doing? Messing around here in this ninth inning. Trying to walk the first guy on. Setting guys up. They're going to come right at you with their best pitch, and that's usually a fastball. Bullshit. Foul ball. Egg. So a good offensive showing for these guys, but if we had to pick one player that stood out, that's our. There was number 800. Two coming. Swing and a fly ball toward right center into the alley. Bradley on a run. Jackie dies. Oh, yeah, Easter Sunday, too. 
<laughs> in the game. But how five thousand five thousand for any other. Can do that. Boy. A World Series win for the San Francisco Giants for the third time in the last five years. And their hero, Madison Bumgarner. Yeah. I got the dime. Carpenter swings and hits a drive. Right center field. It's in the gap. And it's down yeah. the wall. Okay. Um. Played that, so uh, I forget that part. Uh, but um, now on three and two to Utley with Rollins leading from second. Here's the pitch from Beckett. Ball straight three and a no hit. Okay, back on Thursday with more Mario Kart eight. It's not the Halloween, Halloween me. Then on um, Friday, it'll be. There'll be a uh, Walking Dead season two. So we start that, and then we'll be the play through this weekend. So we get the meet the Halloween fun. Um, then depending on how far we get to Walking Dead this weekend, it'll be uh, Monday or Tuesday. We'll probably start all week, and then I think I'll like it. We're gonna do it until dawn. Um, that is extreme so, some of the things we got coming up, um, sort of, uh, yeah, planned. Um, So, I just want to check that real quick. I think that is what the only one in our, at least. Uh, 24. 23. Four twenty-three. Twenty-two. Twenty-one. Nineteen. Eighteen. Seventeen. Sixteen. And yes. Fifteen. Yep. Ten will just the tenth of Dude, you're just spamming Hag over and over again. It's just not. I had to say stop. What are you doing? Like, you're just spamming, spamming letters and and spamming Hag for no reason. There's night, night, but you know, you know. Hit, like purging your stuff or as I had done it was not I didn't want to do it but nobody likes that let's be honest 
So. Josh Beckett, a no hitter. With everyone standing at Dodger Stadium, Kershaw pitches. Said Thursday will be Mark at 8. Friday, we're going to start looking dead and probably next week, um, all week. And what's what? Um. That's what we got coming up on Halloween. Starting with Halloween fun. Um, next Sunday will be also Mario Kart 8 with Halloween Me. So yeah, like I said, Thursday to start Halloween Me. Halloween fun. I mean, so. Oops. And uh. On Thursday. I'll be doing uh, odd cast times on, on days that I wouldn't usually cast, like on Wednesday, or like I'm going to movies on Saturday. So it'll be different days. And Wednesdays will probably be a late a, a night cast. Um, we'll see. I still haven't figured that part out, but I'm like probably around five or six o'clock. Yeah. I use the cast on Wednesday. Trying to yeah, on Wednesday is like, you know, <laughs> that's why I only use this, it's like trying to schedule like, do I do it after I eat, before I eat, do I do this? I, you know, but Halloween the sun's a little different, and it's one month a year, so <laughs> I could deal with it. Follow me, so. New channel, I can see it's that follow, follow button. Like I said, we got the Halloween Athon coming up. We got um, more Mario Kart E coming up. Um, we're going to be still playing Mario Kart E through the whole. So yeah, when we come back to uh, more of V15 to show somewhere down the line. But I don't know. Maybe next year, maybe you know, November. We'll see. Um, I definitely want to try NHL 16. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. Oh. We'll see. Uh, follow me on social media so you want to go live or don't go live. I'll also post all kinds of things, retweeting and sharing all kinds of goodies. Um... Yeah. All kinds of good stuff. Follow me. Subscribe to my YouTube page. Follow the playthroughs, past, present, future. I've also been putting up extra MLB 15 the show cast. Not, uh, MLB 15 that cast. MLB 15 the show. Um, road to show mode. Gained a whole new character. I'll show this off in a second. Um, so I can do it. This is. Here, here we go. This is this is my whole new character. I've been doing this exclusively on a little bonus, a uh, little bonus stuff on YouTube. This is a totally new character. Where all the new roster updates, so everything is not like 2014 with like the other character. So. With everyone standing at Dodger Stadium, Kershaw pitches. Carpenter swings. They, I post on YouTube and all the places go up there too. Amazon wishlist to help the cat out. Um, yeah, so. We'll be back on Thursday with the start of the Halloween a thon. With the Hall return of Halloween, me, and then the, the Walking Dead Season 2 begins on Friday. Until then.